A year ago, I made a video about the lesser-known Mario character, Bowser's brother, covering every detail and theory I could find. I recommend watching that video first, then coming back and watching this one for more clarity. Two months ago, as of this recording, Cosmic, the Mario speedrunning legend, uploaded a video titled 10 Things You've Never Seen in Super Mario Bros, sharing another interesting fact about the character. And a big thank you to this person for bringing it to my attention as I hadn't yet watched the video. Alright, here's a quick recap. The Super Mario Bros. 2 we got in the West was a mario remake of a game called Doki Doki Panic. The original Super Mario Bros. 2 was only released in Japan and reused assets from Super Mario 1, but that game eventually came to the West in Super Mario All-Stars as the Lost Levels. Anyway, in the Japanese version of Super Mario 2, a blue Bowser appears near the end of the game. This is Bowser's brother, a one-hit wonder who was never seen again outside of a few references. Originally, I wasn't sure why until I watched Cosmic's video, and the truth is that he was an accident that was never meant to exist. But why is that? Well, I'll let Cosmic explain it himself. The entire reason he's a different color is actually because there's no axe nearby. Even Bowser himself is that color before the axe object loads. But once it does, it updates the palette, and anything that uses this palette gets updated to be the regular green color. Nintendo probably did this to save on memory, but it came at a cost. In Super Mario Bros. 2, there are three levels where Bowser is placed in areas without axes, changing his color palette to blue. Since Bowser's brother appears in the last level of the game, excluding the special levels, my guess is that Bowser's brother was originally meant to be a fake Bowser you would fight before taking on the real Bowser, but because of his palette swap, they renamed him to Bowser's brother as that was the easiest way to fix the problem. This is probably why he stayed green in the Lost Levels. They wanted players to forget about him. He had the same attacks and patterns as Bowser, so there is no logical reason to keep him around. And that wraps up the story of Bowser's brother. He was just an accident that Nintendo wanted to forget. If you found this video interesting, I recommend going and watching Cosmic's video as the other facts are just as interesting as this one. There's a link in the description below.